Hey everybody, this is Aaron Garman and this is an electrical install I did. This is a Ford Transit 250. It's a custom roof rack I made out of Unistrut. It's a stainless steel Unistrut sprayed with truck bed liner. Uh, those are four 100 watt Renogy solar panels and a uh, Thule cargo container. Um, I also did the brush guard and LED light bar on the front and a hitch for a bike rack on the back. This is the pile of equipment before install. And I'm working on the layout a little bit here, just trying to figure out how everything fits before building an enclosure. This is the battery connection at the vehicle start battery, which is underneath the driver's seat. And here I'm building the enclosure that's a uh, Craig jig or pocket hole jig. And this is being made out of half inch Baltic birch plywood. So this is gonna contain all of the electronics and batteries uh, for the core electrical system. And it's gonna go underneath a uh, bed frame that the customer made for herself. So you can see here the uh, battery is getting loaded in on the right side. And jumping forward a little bit, I've got all the components mounted and uh, a lot of the wiring done. And just making the last few connections. All the cables were custom made to length. And because the thickness um, were also um, pre-bent to shape before crimping the ends on. Um, so all the cables fit nicely without too much tension. This is a uh, surge protector for hooking up to shore power. Um, because it's all stranded cabling, I also put crimp ends uh, on everything because most AC connections uh, are designed for solid copper wire. And now I'm working on the grounding. Uh, this is the chassis ground for the inverter charger and the uh, electrical ground for the battery to battery charger. The main ground distribution block is not grounded to chassis. And then here you can see the uh, ground where I made the ground at the chassis of the vehicle. Right there. Uh, more custom cable crimp connections. And here I'm working on the remote display panel. Um, the remote display panel also has the DC fuse block on it. Um, because the customer's um, self-building most of the van, um, I had to create a good jumping off point for the rest of the small wiring. So. Um, there's two AC receptacles um, that are GFCIs that, that she can jump off for the rest of the AC wiring uh, and the DC fuse panel she can jump off for the DC wiring. And this is the uh, external solar panel connection going in. She's got 400 watts of solar on the roof and a 100 watt um, suitcase panel in, in case um, you know in case you're parked in the shade uh, or you're just trying to maximize um, the amount of power you get um, you know low low sun angle you know winter solstice kind of time the roof panels won't be as effective okay 1800 watt heat gun at not 1800 watts. This says, oh, that's changed, 103 watts. Uh, being output to AC and 140 
five watts ish being consumed up being that. consumed from DC. Turning up some heat, yep. We're at a little over two hundred watts. Two twenty-five, two seven or three seventy-five, four seventy-five, six fifty. Five six hundred. Yeah, look at your battery. Come on, fifty seven amps. And let's kick it into high mode. Turn it down first. Why? Because if we go straight to eighteen hundred. Alright, so we'll go high. We're at hundred watts. Well, one mm -hmm. kilowatt, over one kilowatt off the battery. It's interesting, it, it says load 99 watts. Oh, 1.35 kilowatt. So they just had to scale the... Uh... What's your breaker if I throw this thing out? Huh? What's your battery breaker? It's pulling 126 amps right now at your battery. Cool. How big are breakers on your battery? Yeah, well, there's a, a fuse. It's a 300 amp fuse. Oh. Yeah. How many amps did it say? I was looking at the 1.3 kilowatt, but. Uh, 126 right. amps. 126 amps? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Alright. Fans turn off within a couple, you know, a minute of the load. Uh, the load going away. Battery sitting at 13 volts. Here I'm working on the solar panel mounts. These are aluminum tabs that I decided to make and rivet onto the solar panel frames. This allows me to mount each solar panel to the roof rack and have them individually accessible. Um, the bolts are all accessible from the top uh, and there's minimal gap between the solar panels because I staggered the tabs. So here you can see the first one getting placed on there and there's just a, uh, a special nut that slides into the U-strut. Here I'm mounting or drilling the hole for the roof gland for the solar wires and a little bit of primer paint on the bare metal edge and 3M VHB tape on the bottom of the gland. The holes cut a high point on the roof just for extra protection from water. Uh, those are the solar wires coming up through. They'll get bent uh, later so that, and, and secured underneath so that way they don't touch the metal edge. Everything gets cleaned up, all the wire or metal shavings get vacuumed up and um, the VHB sticks the gland down and uh, a little extra sealant around the edges uh, where the VHB doesn't contact the roof. Here I took a uh, four-way branch connector and uh, cut off the single MC4 and soldered the solar wiring to the branch connector to eliminate the bottleneck at the uh, where all four panels would be going through one MC4 connector. Uh, so 
each panel has its own set of MC4 connectors and then it's um, straight through to the solar charge controller after that. All the wiring is zip tied to the roof rack so nothing's touching the roof. And all the panels can get laid in place and bolted down. Here I've got the connection for the suitcase panel being made. That's a uh, it's actually a 12 gauge um, outdoor all-weather extension cord um, being made into a 30 foot extension for the 100 watt suitcase panel and those are heat shrink butt connectors and glue filled heat shrink for the final layer and here's the wiring coming in uh, to the solar breaker um, double wires there, one, one set from the roof and one set from the plug on the side of the van for the remote panel. And here all the wire management that's in that trough going up the wall. Uh, all the wires are getting mounted and zip tied and secured. And then a uh, little cover goes on that trough and everything looks nice. And here's the finished product. It was a little bit of a rainy day, but all the panels are there, the roof roof rack's done, and there's the uh, remote display panel with the DC fuse block on the left. All the remote displays, AC plugs and breaker. There's the 300 amp hours of Renogy lithium batteries. All the wiring and distribution, inverter charger, battery to battery charger. And then from underneath the bed, you'll be able to get to the main on-off switch on the left and then the three breakers. So there's the finished product. We've got a Ford Transit 250 with 400 watts of solar on the roof, another 100 watt of suitcase solar power, custom roof rack, and uh, deliver to the customer like this so that she can finish the rest of her build.